On this island at the eastern end of the Indonesian archipelago, on the western half of the island of New Guinea, a company has been at work for four decades, developing, exploring, mining one of the world's great ore bodies. Along the southern portion of the Indonesian province of Papua, we operate one of the largest mining operations on the globe. This is a bird's eye view of what we call our project area as we move from sea level at the port of Amama Pare through the lowlands portion of the project area, the local city of Tamika, Freeport's lowlands community Kuala Kanchana, a logistics transfer point at milepost 50, and into the highlands. The primary PTFI town site Tembagapura, ridge camp where thousands of workers are housed. The mill, the Heavy Equipment Access Trail, or HEAT. The original Erzberg Open Pit Mine. And some 80 miles from the coast, the Grassberg Open Pit, 14,000 feet above sea level. At the top of the project area lies Contract of Work Area A the heart of which is the Grassberg Minerals District. It is well known as one of the world's greatest ore zones, containing one of the world's largest single reserves of both copper and gold. Mining at Grassberg began in 1990 and production has steadily increased through the years. Here's a look at how Grassberg will be mined through the end of the open pit life in 2016. Directly below the Grassberg pit is the Grassberg block cave ore body. The Grassberg open pit is one of three mines in the district currently in production. To see the others and the real future of the operation, we move below the surface. Directly below the Grassberg open pit lies the Grassberg block cave mine in development. The lines you see here in red indicate future infrastructure, many miles of tunnels and drifts. The blue ones are already in place and in use. The Kuching Liar deposit, slated for future underground production. And as we move eastward to one of the current underground mines, Big Gossip, which began production in 2010, it is designed to ramp up to 7,000 tons of ore per day in 2014. And here is the DOZ, or Deep Ore Zone, also currently in production, and below it, the DMLZ, slated for future production around 2015. In total, these underground ore bodies represent 90% of the reserves and are the future of our operations. Development of the underground resources began years ago with the development of the AB adits to access these massive ore bodies. Our journey from the surface to the Grassberg underground ore body begins at Ridge Camp Yard, where we enter the AB adits and travel to the Grassberg terminal. You can follow our progress with the map on the left. Along the way, spurs off of the main adits lead to the Big Gossen and ultimately Kuching Liar, as well as to the deep MLZ. These adits serve as our main access for people and materials in and out of the underground. As we enter the Grassberg terminal, workers and materials will be hoisted up to the appropriate levels in the Grassberg block cave. In addition to the terminal level, there are three additional levels. The Grassberg block cave with one billion tons of ore has a footprint of almost 200 football fields with a height exceeding the Empire State Building. The development of the mine is on the various levels. Here, panel development occurs on the extraction level as we drill and blast to develop the panel.
we move up 20 meters to the undercut level. Here we see advanced drilling and blasting to undercut the ore body. This undercutting will allow the ore to cave under its own weight. Once caved, draw points are developed on the extraction level. Over the life of the Grassberg Block Cave, we will develop over 2,400 draw points and mine the deposit at 160,000 metric tons of ore per day. The resulting ore is pulled from the draw points. Ore is transported to the Grizzly and Ore Pass to feed a series of train cars. The train cars will deliver the ore to a crusher and series of conveyors for delivery to the mill. The experience gained in our past and current underground operations will be invaluable as we develop the future underground at PT Freeport, Indonesia.